Hawk, I've got some news. You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Why don't I buy you a pint and we'll talk? You just keep making this harder. Although I won't say no to a pint if you're buying. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravain, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. How are you holding up, Varric? <laughs> Me? My no-account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. I've really missed Bartrand. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. Bartrand really hasn't done much with this place, has he? I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This... looks like it's been empty for months. You think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors? Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Give me my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? 
I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. Somebody's been in here today. Bertrand, what have you done?
for me. Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, your brother. That statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. You said he sold the statue. To who? I don't know. It's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing. Wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, he got worse. What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartrand's not exactly a nice guy, but this doesn't sound like my brother. I'll find Bartrand and put an end to this. Thank you. Maybe there's no one left alive in there. But if there is, grant them a quick end. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. shouldn't have sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake. A mistake. Bartrand, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? 
Back. He'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You're always a good one. Help you, Bartrand. You left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? This doesn't feel natural. If he wasn't a dwarf, I'd think a demon did this. His mind has been... poisoned by something powerful. That's all I can do. It won't last, I'm sorry. Varric? I'm here. Varric? What have I done? I don't know. I honestly don't know. They can stop, little brother. Don't let me... Don't let House Tetris fall like this. I know. I don't deserve it. But please, Varric, don't leave me like this. Make it stop. Enough with the speeches. I'll get you to a healer, and you'll be fine. Seriously? Three years of... I'm going to skin him alive, and then... Poof. Best buddies? I can't do it, Hawk. I thought I could. I thought he'd be gloating. Lying on a bed of gold and commissioning painters to memorialize the instant he sealed us into the deep roads. But look at him. Whatever that idol was, it did worse to him than I ever could. You'll sleep easier without his blood on your hands. I'll send someone to come get him. Sit tight, brother. Help is on the way. Come on, Hawk. The sooner we get out of this house, the better. Did you need something, Varric? A stiff drink, maybe. I feel like I've been kicked by a horse. I almost wish Blondie hadn't wiggled his fingers and cleared Bartrand's head. I liked it better when I just wanted to kill the bastard. If I ever had doubts about who was the better brother, they're long gone. You did good. No, oh, please, Hawk. There was never any doubt. I'm the handsome, irresistibly charming one. I'll deal with Bartrand somehow. Make her that'll be even more of a joy than it used to be. I still can't believe what he did in that house. It's one thing to walk away and leave us to die, but that... He didn't do this on his own. The artifact from the Taig warped his mind. Don't let him completely off the hook. He chose to steal the damned thing, he brought it on himself. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. Someone's always trying to take over at night. But someone else will always pay for their removal.